Understanding, selling myself short. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase in the English language. Selling myself short. Understanding this phrase is not just about learning new vocabulary. It's about grasping a concept that can influence the way we see ourselves and our abilities. So, let's get started and unlock the full potential of this expression. Selling myself short is a phrase that describes the act of undervaluing one's own abilities, achievements, or worth. When someone says they are selling themselves short, it means they are not giving themselves enough credit for what they can do or have accomplished. This can be due to a lack of confidence, fear of failure, or simply not recognizing their own value. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some real life examples. 1. Job interviews. Imagine someone who doesn't mention important achievements during a job interview because they think they're not significant. They're selling themselves short by not showcasing their full potential to the employer. 2. Personal relationships. If a person consistently says they're lucky to have friends or a partner because they see themselves as uninteresting or unworthy, they are selling themselves short by underestimating their value in those relationships. 3. Skill development. Someone might avoid taking up a new hobby or learning a new skill because they believe they won't be good at it. This mindset is another way of selling themselves short, as they deny themselves the opportunity to grow and discover new talents. Understanding and avoiding the trap of selling yourself short is crucial because it directly affects your self-esteem and how you approach opportunities in life. Recognizing your worth and believing in your capabilities can open doors to new possibilities, enhance your relationships, and improve your overall happiness and satisfaction in life. To stop selling yourself short, try these strategies. 1. Acknowledge your achievements. Keep a record of your successes, no matter how small. Reviewing them can boost your confidence. 2. Positive self-talk. Challenge negative thoughts about yourself and replace them with positive affirmations. 3. Seek feedback. Sometimes, others see our value more clearly than we do. Don't hesitate to ask for feedback to understand your strengths better. 4. Embrace new challenges. By stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things, you prove to yourself that you're capable of more than you think. Selling myself short is a phrase that carries a lot of weight in understanding self-perception and confidence. By learning what it means and how to avoid it, you're taking a big step towards recognizing your true value and potential. Remember, every journey starts with a single step, and believing in yourself is that crucial first step. We hope this video has been insightful, and we encourage you to keep exploring and embracing your worth. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.